Hi, I'm Greg McMillan. Thanks for visiting McMillanRunning.com. In this video, let's discuss the tried and true tempo run. Many of you have probably heard of a tempo run, so let's explain the whys and hows of this important workout. A tempo run is a workout of continuous running done at or very near your lactate threshold pace. As you can see from the McMillan training zone graph, the point where the orange line takes a sharp turn upwards is your lactate threshold. When the tempo run is inserted into the graph, you see that it's right at your lactate threshold, which is the pace you can race for about one hour. This might be 10 miles for some speedy runners or closer to 10K for others. Many runners describe this pace as comfortably hard. Research shows that the pace of your lactate threshold is the most important determinant of running performance. All stamina workouts, and especially the tempo run, help push your lactate threshold pace faster. This results in faster racing. Mentally, tempo runs help callous you to the mental strain of running fast for a long time, something we face in most long distance races. That's why tempo runs should be part of any workout plan, whether you're a marathoner or a miler. Marathoners do a tempo run every seven to 14 days during their last few weeks before the race, whereas short distance runners insert tempo runs earlier in their training phase to build strength before beginning race specific speed training. This is Megan Herrick doing a tempo run here in Flagstaff. As you can see, she's running fast, but comfortably. She'll do 30 minutes at her suggested tempo run pace, according to the McMillan running calculator. To find out your correct tempo run pace, type in your current fitness level in the calculator and then browse over to view your optimal training paces. Under stamina workouts, you'll see tempo runs and your optimal pace range for a proper tempo workout. We recommend starting with a very short tempo run, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, so you can dial in the pace before gradually going a bit longer. 30 to 40 minutes is about as far as you'd ever want to go for a true tempo run. If you go any farther at that pace, it really becomes a race. We want to save those kinds of efforts for race day. Remember to include a proper warm up and cool down before and after your tempo runs. Since this workout sits right on the lactate threshold, be mindful not to go too fast. If you do, you'll find that lactic acid builds up quickly and you'll have to cut the workout short. Instead, find your pace range and stick in it. Finish knowing that you could go another five to 10 minutes at that pace if asked to. So that's a tempo run. They are an important part of becoming a better runner.